all right welcome 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 to today's video so in this video we're going to be looking at computer hardware so let's understand um computer hardware now what is computer hardware that is actually um where to start we have actually said that earlier on we said computer hardware are those physical parts of computer that you can see fit and touch okay so uh, some of this part um, um some of this hardware um uh, are found inside the system some of them are actually outside the system for example like stuffs like the motherboard uh, you always find them inside your system even though you are using laptop they have all these things just that uh, they have more advanced technology which is more smaller uh, use more um, micro components and all that but these are different peripherals that uh, you find around the computer they are known as the computer hardware. So when you talk about the computer hardware, it can be classified into uh, three basic parts. We have the input device. Uh, we also have the central processing unit, and we also have the output device. Okay. Now let's talk about the input device. Now the input device are the ones that are used to send information into the system. You probably already know about them. So you know about the mouse. I mean the keyboard. You know about the mouse. Your game, your joystick um, is an input device. Your mic, microphone, just like the one I'm using to record this lesson now, I'm sending in the voice into my system and um, is recording. So it's an input device. Your scan code, you see, find this in using um, a supermarket and all that to scan and uh, uh, and all that. Okay, even find uh, the temperature tester they are using this, doing this COVID-19 of a thing. All of, all of these are input device. You also have your um, light pen. It's also an input device. Your web camera. Your touchpad in your laptop, where you use your hand uh, to uh, um, move around, is an input device. That is what you use to. That is like your mouse in your laptop. So the mouse was. Uh, th this is an improved technology of the mouse. You also have touch screens. They are an imp input device. Fingerprint reader also. These are different kind of input device. Uh, these are used to send data, send uh, information to. to I mean, uh, yeah, send data to the computer for processing. Okay. So other thing you see also is a processing device. The processing device or uh, device are those part that takes care of um, processing and converting data into um, uh, information. So one of them uh, you find is uh, the processing device is actually made up of a different parts. The memory part that helps store information, uh, which is the RAM, the read-only memory. Also the control unit, a part that actually does. Uh, the all controls that controls the activities that goes on in the computer and also the arithmetic and logic unit which is the part that performs um, arithmetic and logic operations so when you look at uh, the processing device these are major component that makes up all this you might not actually see all these things physically because most of all these things are inside your uh, your CPU if you are using a desktop like this they are inside this box here if you are using a laptop, they are inside your casing. You might not always find them more. Uh, they are not actually obvious for you to see. So, but this is the processor. This is actually the, the main um, tools that actually process the information. Now, these are the ROM and the RAM here are the memory part of your uh, of your of your uh, CPU. Then you also have the hard disk. The hard disk is the one that is used to store information in permanent base. But these are the memory parts that actually work together to help process information. I mean, process data into information in the computer. Okay. So also we have the output device. Now these are when computer has finished working on information. I mean, have finished working on data and have produced information. Now they use the output device to send it out to you, the user. So you have like your speaker, your projector, you also have your printer, okay, image printer and all that. You also have your uh, monitor. So these things are uh, different um, examples of output device. Now I know you probably, you are conversant with all this um, by now. Just, I believe this is just going to be like, um, uh, because I know this, this is the basic topic that is always taught in terms of um, general studies when it comes to computer studies. So I believe this is just uh, like an overview of what you already know, but these are them. Um, if you have not actually seen uh, the images of this object before, you can actually glance through them and uh, learn how they actually look like, okay? And also know where they can be classified. So that is it about um, computer hardware. So um, um, in the next lesson, we are going to be talking about computer software. So I will see you in the next uh, lesson.